Hello, hello, and welcome to the Tarot Parlor. I'm doing this reading this evening right before bed, so we're kind of tucked on the bed with the dog and nice soft twinkle lights. And we're just going to pull some cards this time and uh, see what see what the universe wants us to think about. See what spirit is going to highlight for us. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start laying cards and we'll see what we get here. Queen of Wands reversed. The High Priestess. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Second row. Nine of Cups. Two of Cups. Princess of Cups reversed. Last row. Oh, Eight of Swords. The Magician. And Five of Cups. Okay, give me just a second here to look at these cards. And let's see what we see. I, I do see something. I It's the kind of thing that I'm kind of hesitant to... Um, say, but I'm going to say there there is a wish fulfillment here for a couple, and it looks like a little princess, a little girl. There are two women who are at odds with, with each other, and it's because there is a third party, another woman, who is actually, um, what do you want to call her, like an instigator for trouble? She works one against the other. I don't feel that these are children. I feel these are all adults. And this is like um, not even a family-oriented thing. Feels more like a friendship thing with adult women. And of the three, there's one that um, is very sly about what she does, going back and forth between the two. And it's going to cause or has already caused issues between this Queen of Wands and this Queen of Pentacles. And she sits there very calmly in the middle, um, listening as uh, as both women will come to her to talk to her, to tell her what's going on, to ask her opinion, because I don't believe that these two women know where this problem is stemming from. I don't know if she's subtle about it. I don't know if they are just, they just can't see it for some reason. I also see someone that's really been tied down in life, um, maybe unable to make their own decisions or uh, trapped in some way in a situation or a relationship, I see a massive freedom and empowerment for someone out there. Whatever this gilded cage is, um, someone's going to open the door and there goes the canary. There's a surprise card hiding underneath one of these cards. I didn't know that they were so stuck together. They are. It is a four of, uh, no, it is an eight of pentacles reversed. Oh, Someone is either going to be disappointed about not getting uh, a promotion they were expecting, a raise they were expecting, a position they were expecting. There's going to be a little bit of disappointment there, but, but this is not going to be long lasting. And I also have the idea, you know how sometimes we don't get something we really want and we don't realize that there's actually something better coming down the pike. One more look here before I get ready for bed. And let me see here. Just to check, see if there's any other messages coming through these cards. I, I am seeing one more thing. There is someone who has been uh, trapped and, and kind of up in their head, worried and fretting about a work position. And... Um, they're going to get some sort of relief from that. Um, but it's like it's like it might not be exactly what they want. They may be starting in a, at a lower point or a lower position or, you know, that type of thing. But they're, they're at least going to get out of this rut and they're going to lose their anxiety about it because that's what I'm getting is someone who's just been fretting, 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 fretting. So something will come along and start small and you can you can grow from there. And I do believe that that is all the cards have to say to me tonight. It seems like they have stopped talking. So 
I'm going to go ahead and tuck my dog in and um, get ready for bed. So good night all, and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, Tarot and Spirituality. Until next time and until the next video, bye-bye.